In this video, we are going to do acrylic baby boomer nails that, in my opinion, turned out as a total nail fail. Coming up! Hello guys, Anastasia here. These are the nails we need to work on. As you can see, the nails are pretty wide and also we have a dry cuticles. So the client wanted to have short coffin nails and I started with the cuticle care. By the way, those are also virgin nails, which means she've never done manicure, cuticle care, extensions, like nothing in her life. And she decided to do them for her wedding. So I started pushing back the cuticle with the orange wood stick. Even though the cuticle is a bit dry, the skin and nail seems to be a bit oily. So I think I will be working with acrylic and probably using acid primer. That might be the best solution here. Using orange wood stick for pushing back the cuticle is a great idea because this is a single-use tool and you do not need to sanitize it, you can just give it to your client when you are done. Next step, filing the nails short. If you will file them shorter, it will be so much easier to fit the forms. We are going to use forms today and some of the nails are really long and since the shape is really wide, it is definitely wise to just File all the free edge away. Then it is time to take care of the cuticles. I will be using diamond bit with a red band. And as you can see, there is something to work on. So I'm using speed of 16,000 rotations per minute and pushing up the cuticles. Even though the cuticle might look red or complicated, it was not that hard to work on it. All you have to do is to clean it thoroughly so you can push it up really well and then we are going to trim it. But since the skin itself is a bit oily, it will be easier for me to use implements rather than finish it all just with the e-file. Also, we can see some hangnails around uh, the cuticle and it is also sometimes easier to trim them with the scissors or nippers, especially if the skin is not too dry. After I pushed up the cuticle, I didn't trim it yet, by the way, I'm going to take off the surface shine carefully with a 180 grit file. And yes, normally we do that at the beginning, but since here the cuticle was spreading at almost one third of the length of the nail, I think it would be wise to do this at this point, so we can clean the nail better and also I'm not touching the cuticle because it is not trimmed yet. So do not forget that this part is very important and crucial. It totally depends on how the enhancement will last. So do not overfile nails, do not press on the nail plate too much. Just make sure the entire surface is matte and you didn't leave any shiny spots or skin residue on the nail plate surface. When I'm done with the step, I'm going to clean the dust and then trim the cuticles with the scissors. You probably noticed that I'm using this tool a lot recently because I just find it pretty easy to use. Um, doesn't matter what kind of skin or cuticle you're working with. And I did that to all 10 nails and after that we can go right to the nail extensions. So I fit the form, apply dehydrator and I decided to use acid primer. I recommend using it when you have a nails like that, um, closer to oily skin to hyperhidrosis. And it's very important that you need to wait until the primer fully dries. Unlike with non-acid primer, then you do not need to wait. I'm using acrylic powder by Glam & Glitz, it's called Twinkle Twinkle. It's a white powder with a slight shimmer in it, and the coolest part is that it actually glows in the dark. I already used this product before, it works great. 
Um, and honestly, this is probably my first time this year doing short coffin nails. When a client shared that she wants short coffin nails, honestly, I was a bit puzzled because, I don't know, I just do not do this configuration of this shape a lot. If you will take a look at my works on YouTube, on Instagram, you will see that I'm doing whether it's medium length coffin or it's a long coffin. I believe I did that like a couple times in my life. Anyways, since the nail beds are pretty wide, I still thought that, you know, coffin would look great here. So let's just go for it. But about at this point, I realized that nothing is going how I thought it would. Well, you will see that in a moment. Anyways, I'm blending the color towards the cuticle now, and then I will be using the same brand, Glam and & Glitz, and this color is called Medium Blush. I apply it near the cuticle and blend it towards the free edge. Baby Boomer is probably one of the best ideas for the wedding because it looks classy, it will match with most outfits, and it just looks elegant all the time. So then we have two options. We can use just clear, we can use semi-transparent pink to encapsulate it all, or I also have this powder, it is called Blend. Uh, from Blend Collection by Glam and & Glitz, and you can apply it on top. But I thought that, you know, I don't really like this fade that I created, so I added a bit more nude in the middle, and we need more product there to build an apex anyways, so I started blending it a bit more. And if you notice that you blended nude too much, like you do not have this white anymore, you can always clean it before the product is fully set. Now, when we're done, since we're working with acrylic, we can carefully take the form off and slightly pinch the nail, and let's move on to the next one. So, at this point, I was terrified because I realized that it just doesn't look good, and the funniest thing about it is it's not like I'm using these products for the first time. I mean, no, I already tried them, I worked with them a few times, it's not that I'm trying something new and unusual. I did this baby boomer with acrylic like so many times. You can also see these videos on my channel, by the way. But for some reason, this one was going just wrong. I don't know. I just didn't like how it looks. This nude color seemed too transparent and like a see through the nail this time, even though it didn't seem like that to me before. Well, I don't know. So honestly, I was just, you know, working and hoping that maybe I will encapsulate it and it will look better. I mean, at least I will try to do my best and create a good shape. As you can see, I did them a bit longer uh, than she wanted because I thought, you know, if I would do them even shorter, it will not really be a coffin anymore. It will look more like you know, another type of square. So I always start a baby boomer with this base. So I create the free edge first. Basically, we're like sculpting a tip. And once I'm happy with the shape, with the surface, once it's all good, then I add another bead and blend it towards the cuticle so we can create a perfect blend. And now, before it fully sets, you need to apply a nude color near the cuticle and carefully Fade it towards the free edge, but do not cover the entire white part because we still need it on the free edge. As I'm sitting here recording this voiceover, I did the set about two weeks before that. And you know what, guys? Now, looking at this video, I'm actually thinking that maybe it wasn't that bad. But at this point, like at this moment when I was doing these nails, I was about to cry, seriously. I just hated this set so much. I was just thinking about what can I do to cover it up. But the good thing, I guess, is that the client was totally happy. I mean, she said she got exactly what she wanted. Um, so I didn't redo these nails, but I don't know. It's just one of those work that I'm not proud of. And honestly, it doesn't happen as often now, but 
this is what happens with this ad i just wanted to be honest with you guys and just share all my emotions as i was doing this set so now the product is set as well we take off the form and slightly pinch it and now it's time for filing and shaping I'm using 180 grid file. I just make sure that they're all of the same length and shape. And it is better to take care of it before you start filing, right when you're doing the application. Just check them and see if the length matches as you apply the product on the form. What I didn't like in particular about the set, well, first of all, uh, the blend. For some reason, it didn't work out very well and also it seems like a bit see-through second thing is the shape it just looks so weird to me maybe i'm just not used to this look because i don't do short coffee nails as much and also i did a video a while ago with wide nails and i myself recommended these two shapes as a best solution for wide nails first one is almonds and second one is coffin and those are definitely wide nails, but now looking back at it, I'm thinking that probably we should have done them longer, uh, or if she didn't want longer, then we still could probably try another shape. Anyways, like I said, the client was totally satisfied with the result and she liked it, and I wasn't, obviously, so I forgot to film uh, the stamping part because we did this later, and I was secretly hoping that this stamping will make the set look better, but it didn't. It just got worse. So then I buffed the nails, cleaned the dust, did that stamping that I forgot to film and sealed it all with the top coat. So I already posted one video with the infill fail and, you know, I just wanted to be honest with you guys. I am once again totally not happy with the set, but this is what I did. So we cure the top coat in LED for 30 seconds and it is what it is. Let me guys know if you did any sets that you're totally not proud of, like what exactly went wrong and why it happened. You know, I'm just curious because I definitely know that we've all been in this kind of situations. Thank you so much for watching. If you're first time here on my channel, consider subscribing because normally I post educational videos and tutorials just like this one every week. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.